Hello people and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 2. In this video, I will be explaining everything you need to know before just jumping right into Season 2. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League is a round robin pool play system where 16 teams will be playing each other using one of three different tier decks with 15 rounds, a playoffs, and a championship. Videos will go up every Saturday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Rounds are 8 matches and a new round will begin about every month. These games will be played on both Dev Pro and Wajio Pro, whichever is more convenient for the participants. I know there's Dueling Nexus and the new Dueling Buck, but these are either too unstable, the servers are down, or the unlimited list cannot be used, which we will need for the league. But there is a possibility of Dueling Buck in the future. For those of you who would like to participate while we're not taking any new captains at the time, you can show your support by cheering for the participant you back in the comment section, Go to the participants channel if one is available. Following the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Twitter to get news and updates. Watching the monthly update video that will inform you of each team's standings in the league and in their divisions. And joining the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League fan discord where you can join a team, talk to like-minded individuals, and really just get to know the person behind the decks. Links are in the description. So with introductions out of the way, let's get to rules and regulations. Starting it off, we will be using the most recent ban list for the TCG, with some exceptions from deck to deck, which I'll be getting to later in the video, and adjustments to the decks will be made when necessary. Next rule, no OCG cards unless stated otherwise. We are keeping this strictly TCG, and only cards that came out in 2016 or earlier for TCG can be used. Next rule, with a total of 48 different decks, that is a lot to keep track of. So there would be no adjustments to decks outside of ban list alterations. And yes, this does include the side deck. And lastly, with a total of 15 rounds during the regular season, each tier one, two, and three deck must be used five times during the regular season. What order and how many times a deck is used in a row is up to the captain and their supporters, as long as every deck is used five times before we go into the playoffs. Speaking of tier 1, 2, and 3 decks, they are a major concept of the league. I mean, it's right there in the name of Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League. So let's move on to introducing those decks for Season 2. Starting it off is the tier 1 decks, which are arguably the strongest decks of the league. And whether they be a lower tier 2 or tier 3 deck, or a fellow tier 1, only one point will be rewarded. As stated in the guest upload video, the theme for this season is 2015 versus 2016. There are 8 tier 1 decks, 4 from 2015 and 4 from 2016. With 16 teams each, each deck will be chosen twice. From 2015, we have Necros with 1 Shred, 2 Bionix, and 3 Unicorn. Burning Abyss with 3 Sir, 3 Grab, 3 Tour Guys, 3 Beatrice, but no Rhino and no Speedrun Engine. Cleeforts with 3 Scouts, Shadals with 3 Constructs and 3 El Shadal Fumes. And from 2016 we have Draco Pals with 3 Face Off, 3 Ignisters and a Monkey Board, Monarchs with 3 Ethers, 3 Pantheism and 3 Monarch Storm Forts, current PK Fire and current ABCs. Next, similar to Tier 1 decks, the Tier 2 decks will also follow the theme of 2015 versus 2016, with 4 decks from 2015 and 4 decks from 2016. With 8 decks, each deck will be chosen twice. If a Tier 2 deck defeats a Tier 3 deck or a fellow Tier 2 deck, only 1 point will be rewarded. But if a Tier 2 deck defeats a Tier 1 deck, then 2 points will be earned for that team. The Tier 2 decks are the following. From 2015, we have Atlantean Mermels, Sutelder Knights, Allies Magicians with 3 Pendulum Calls and 3 Insight Magicians, and Heroes with 1 Elemental Hero Strata. And from 2016, we have Cosmos with 3 Dark Destroyers and 2 Emergency Calls, Blue Eyes, Magic Specters, and Metal Foes. And lastly is Tier 3, and this is where the true creativity shines. Each team chooses a Tier 3 deck that is not on the Tier 1 or Tier 2 list and does not have to follow the theme of being a deck of 2015 or 2016 but it does have to be a deck that came out in the TCG of 2016 or earlier. 
If a tier 3 deck defeats a fellow tier 3 deck, then only one point is rewarded. But if a tier 3 deck defeats a tier 2 deck, then that's two points. And if a tier 3 deck defeats a tier 1 deck, then that is a whopping three points earned. Each tier 3 deck will be stated when introducing each team, which we will be going over shortly. And of course, if a team loses their duel in the league, then no points will be rewarded. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So with all these tiers and points out the way, let's move on to introducing the teams and their captains. Captain of the Yugi Dark Magicians, Xeno Prodigy, with Tier 1 Monarchs, Tier 2 Cosmos, and Tier 3 Medoches. Captain of the Pharaoh Forbidden Ones, Little Duelist, with Tier 1 Cleefort, Tier 2 Blue Eyes, and Tier 3 Paleozoic. Captain of the Kaiba White Dragons, Nick Cool, with Tier 1 Shadals, Tier 2 Satellanites, and Tier 3 Ritual Beasts. Captain of the Joey Black Dragons, Shuya Souls, with Tier 1 Shadals, Tier 2 Satellanites, and Tier 3 Fluffles. Captain of the Jaden Neo Spatians, Blue Hot 479, with Tier 1 Cleefort, Tier 2 Metalfoes, and Tier 3 Shadal Trains. Captain of the Zane Cyber Dragons, Dueling Network 100, with Tier 1 PK Fire, Tier 2 Heroes, and Tier 3 Dark Magicians. Captain of the Yusei Star Dragons, Forever Epic, with Tier 1 Necros, Tier 2 Metaphos, and Tier 3 Junk Dapple. Captain of the Jack Red Archfiend Stew Dog 8, with Tier 1 ABC, Tier 2 Magispectors, and Tier 3 Blackwings. Captain of the Crow Black Lightning, the Noodle Monarch, with Tier 1 Draco Pals, Tier 2 Cosmos, and Tier 3 Zephyr. Captain of the Yuma Utopians, Dueling Duelist Drew, with Tier 1 Burning Abyss, Tier 2 Heroes, and Tier 3 Kaijus. Captain of the Kite Galaxy Photons, Lunar Slushy, with Tier 1 ABC, Tier 2 Atlantean Mermel, and Tier 3 Dark Worlds. Captain of the Yuya Penzone Dragons, Mount of the West, with Tier 1 Draco Pals, Tier 2 Odd Eyes Magicians, and Tier 3 Dark Lords. Captain of the Yuto Phantom Knights, Omega Chaos, with Tier 1 PK Fire, Tier 2 Odd Eyes Magicians, and Tier 3 Spellbooks. Captain of the Yugo Crystal Clears, I Hate Angela, with Tier 1 Necros, Tier 2 Atlantean Mermels, and Tier 3 Baby Raccoons. Captain of the Yuri Starving Predator Chateau Chat with Tier 1 Monarchs, Tier 2 Magispectors, and Tier 3 Revival Dragons. And last but not least, Captain of the Reggie DDDs, Pops 25 with Tier 1 Burning Abyss, Tier 2 Blue Eyes, and Tier 3 Cyframes. Link to all Captain's available channels are in the description below. With the Tier 1 and Tier 2 decks chosen, the teams have been separated into 4 divisions, so the teams they will be competing with in the divisions have similar decks. So in the lowest division, or UDS division, we have teams whose Tier 1 and Tier 2 decks are from 2015, which are the Yuma Utopians, the Yugo Crystal Clears, the Kaiba White Dragons, and the Joey Black Dragons. In the second lowest division, or regional division, is teams who have a 2015 deck as their Tier 1, but a 2016 deck as their Tier 2, which include the Jaded Neospatians, the Reiji DDDs, the Pharaoh Forbidden Ones, and the Yusei Star Dragons. In the second highest division, or YCS division, is teams who have a 2016 deck as their Tier 1, but a 2015 deck as their Tier 2. And they are the Yuto Phantom Knights, the Yuya Pendulum Dragons, the Zane Cyber Dragons, and the Kite Galaxy Photons. And in the highest division, or national division, is teams who have decks of 2016 as both their Tier 1 and Tier 2 decks. And those teams are the Crow Black Lightning, the Jack Red Archfiends, the Yuri Starving Predators, and the Yugi Dark Magicians. While everyone faces everyone in the regular season, the teams are really only competing with teams in their division. The teams are trying to earn points to make it into the playoffs or the World Championship. In each division, the team at the bottom of the division gets dropped and doesn't make it to the playoffs. The teams at the top get the bye week and automatically make it to the second round of the playoffs, and the two middle teams of each division will face off in which the winner will face the bye week team for the division champion. Once division champions have been established, the national division champion will face the YCS division champion, and the regional division champion will face the UDS division champion in the semifinals. And the final will be the winner of those matches to determine the season 2 champion, but there will also be the losers of those matches facing off to determine 3rd and 4th place. Playoffs are formed as best of 3 matches, not duels, matches. The teams will have to show their mastery of each deck by facing off best of 3 matches using each deck once if the matches go to three. All right, so that's pretty much it for this explanation video for season two. If you missed anything, everything will be in the description below of this video and every league video. If you have any questions, 
please ask them in the comment section below and I will be sure to reply to them if need be. Thank you for taking the time to check out season two and I hope that this season will be a big success. Of course, thank you to my co-host Sanjay 87 and Slate Warrior who will be joining me in these league videos along with other guest commentators and for every single person who guest uploaded the guest upload video and spread the news about the league. I hope that you guys are excited for the return of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League, bringing it back for season two. Thanks for watching.